There's something about the words I've been up with. Amen. That breaks down. Amen. That stubborn situation. Even when you want to be a man, somebody say, I love you. You got to just let go. Some of us have been so used to giving God conditional love. Amen. We only got to praise when everything is going okay. Amen. But if you came into the house of God, amen, with a made up mind and say, God, I come in today and I want to give you a praise because I honor who you are in my life. Come on, come on. Let's give him one more praise. One more good praise. Some of us, man, we've been doing Thank so you. much, man, that you say, God, if you can just turn it on for Thank me, you. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. I don't even want to leave the place when God show up, yeah. amen. When he show up, you just want to stay in bed, amen, in his presence, amen. I can't afford to leave your presence, yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of Thank you, Jesus. And I bring you greetings, amen, from Refuge yes. Church in the West. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, Lord. I want to honor you. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, This man of God, this man and woman of God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. California. Yes, yes. Amen. And Lord. I got to tell you that sometimes... Thank you, you can get excited yes, about a glimpse. Yes. Yes. If I get emotional, you know, don't hold it to me. Come on, yeah, yeah. Come on, right. Amen. Because just like Pastor said, Amen. We didn't know this day was coming. Right. 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 Amen. But when God will show you a glimpse, Amen. Some of us have seen a glimpse of what God is going to do yeah. in our life, and we've been holding on to a glimpse, Amen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all hell been breaking loose, Amen. The situation and the circumstance don't even look like the glimpse that God showed you, but you just said, Ah, but I had a glimpse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. God showed me something and yeah. I've been holding on to it. Yeah, yeah. And some of us have been holding on to it for a long time. Yeah. But I got a glimpse when I walked in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got a glimpse of faces of many races. Amen. Of faces of many nations. Amen. Full to a capacity. And I see God restoring and rebuilding through the city of Bakersfield under the leadership of Pastor Torre. Amen. Through this cross Christian church. Somebody ought to get excited about what God is getting ready to do. I see families. Oh my God. Oh my God. I get excited about that. We got so much family drama. Amen. But I see families being restored. I see fathers coming home. Amen. I don't want to stand and be a father to my child, even if me and the baby mama ain't together. Amen. I got to come back and raise mine. I, I see women, amen, that be struggling, amen, being molested at a younger age and God restoring, taking away the hurt and the pain, healing the hurt, amen, healing the blockage. I see God doing a crazy work. Thank you, Lord. And I hear people talking about you from here to LAX. This will be the church. And then people come look for. Come on, you ought to agree with that. You ought to agree with that. In Jesus' name, I thank God for Pastor Torrey. It's like you said, we've been affiliated for a very long time, but I've never been as excited for him as I am now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Just thank to see you, what God is doing. Yes. His yes. lovely companion. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Just amen. recently become acquainted with yes. him. And we honor you, First Lady. Praise amen. Love God. Amen. God. Amen. amen. California's power couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. It's, it's a great thing, amen, to be in sync. Amen. How many you know that, man? You've been in relationships and there was no balance. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen, yeah, amen. Yeah. Unequally yoked. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Some of y'all can't say nothing because you got one right now. Uh, <laughs> all right. It's like I ain't just, you know, I'm just talking. 
Amen. But it's a blessing, amen, yes. when you see a couple yes. that equally love the Lord yes. and that are equally committed to the ministry. Right. Amen. Right. We right. thank God right. we are out of the night today. Amen. Amen. Come on and celebrate Pastor. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And everybody in the room might feel like she be clapping down here. Somebody should be standing on their feet because we honor your pastor and first lady. You honor yourself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today we thank God for this wonderful opportunity. Amen. I happen to be married to the finest woman in the world. That's a bad way, a sad part. You know, I just. You really thought I'd make mention of that, and I understand that some people might make to differ. That's okay with you, you know. But my wife, Amen, the lovely lady Harrison, here with me today, Amen. She's put up, Amen, with my growing for over 22 years. And notice I say growing, Amen, because the man that I am now I haven't always been. Amen. I know church is full of people that are perfect at all good times, but Amen. I don't want to lie to you. I was a work in progress. <laughs> God is still working on me. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, Since now, he's still tight. Some screws every now and then, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you're going to get to know me. I'm very transparent. Yeah, that's Ain't right. Ain't no need that's to put right. on a facade. I left my bow tie. I was upset on the plane. And, and then I understood why. Because God said, no, we're going to be loose and we're going to enjoy yeah. the spirit of the Lord in this place. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to say, I like what I see. Amen. And truly, there is a word from the Lord on today, and we won't be here very long. Thank God, amen, just for this opportunity because, amen, as a visiting pastor, amen, my job is easy. All right, all right, all right. Amen. All right. The hard work is for Pastor Torre. All right. He's the one that's got to be up and praying with you all, all night, amen, dealing yeah, with yeah. some of your situations, amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. Being let down at times, yeah. amen. Have to encourage himself at times, yeah. amen. Always have to be ready and prepared, yeah. amen, where I can just fly in and encourage and fly out. <laughs> Enjoyed a few good things to eat. We went to Roscoe's on last night. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not going to be embarrassed about that. As you see, it takes a lot of work to keep up this figure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. That's right. That's right. But we are yeah. in the midst of a great time. Amen. I got a word that's going to encourage you on tonight. Amen. This afternoon. And, and God is faithful. Yes, amen. He is. I get excited. Amen. I get nervous and excited when God don't give me the word until I get to the place. Yeah, right, right. I'm saying, yeah, <laughs> amen. Amen. We've been preaching for a long time, but God is the kind of God that'll make you have faith. Yes, I know that's right. Am I right about it? Amen. Come on, some of y'all know I'm right about it. Amen. You ain't know what was gonna happen, but you say, God, I'm going in your name. Amen. You just got to walk it. God said, go, and you just got to walk it. Amen. And I gotta believe that's the best experience of faith in the world. Amen. But I had a word, and God began to twist and turn and change, amen, my agenda. All right. Amen. And he gave us a word on today, and I believe God is going to bless us. Amen. I ask that you would turn your Bibles, amen, to 1 Samuel. Amen. And we're going to deal with one of my favorite characters in the Bible. Amen. Great man of God. The Bible called David. It said yes. David was a man after his own heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I know we sing these songs, I'm chasing after you, and, and uh, I'll forever be chasing after you. And I know we, we feel like we're really God chasers. Yeah, yeah. But God was so impressed with David's heart that he said he was after my very own heart. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Some of us are after many things. Yeah. Amen. The church is usually full of different agendas and different, okay. amen, uh, reasonings for being here. Some of us was drug here. Yeah. Amen. By our parents. Amen. I thank God that I was drug. Yeah. Amen. By my mother and father. Right, amen. Right. It all makes some sense now. Right. Amen. Right. Young folk, hang on in there. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. When I didn't want to come, amen, they was like, you ain't got no choice, amen. And I see these new parents give their kids a lot of choices. Well, congratulations, we didn't have any of that. Right, 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 go ahead. Amen, we just had to be what we had to be. Amen. Amen, but 1 Samuel 17 chapter, amen, and uh, we're going to read, amen, I'm going to read the 25th verse first, but then I'm going to skip down to verse 32. Amen, and it says, when you have it, say amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Just uh, while some are getting their scripture, I just want to tell you that Pastor Torre, amen, came to Chicago last week and really uh -huh. blessed Refuge Church. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, Our members are still talking about, 
he had that fellowship. Amen. They act like they've know, been knowing him for a long time. Uh -huh, One of my right. deacons called me while we were sitting at uh, Roscoe's. He, and he said, are you with Pastor Torrey? I said, yes. He said, let me speak to him. All right. All right. All right. Said, what do you do this at? You don't know Pastor Torrey. The deacons want to speak to you. Amen. So he came and God really used him. He spoke an awesome word. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. And just like he said, I know there's a, a great fellowship taking place. Like I said, my job is easy. I'm going to do my job and I'm going to get out your way. Amen. Verse 25, it says, And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man that has come up surely to defy? Come on, somebody say challenge. Defy means challenge. Yeah. Amen. It says, Surely to defy, to challenge Israel. Yeah. Is he come up? Yeah. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king, will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free of Israel. Mm -hmm. Going down to 32. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Mm -hmm. Thy servant will go and fight with this Palestine, this Philistine. Yeah. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him for thou art but a youth. Yeah. And a man of war, and he is a man of war from his youth. Yeah. He said, you don't even qualify. Right, right, right. <laughs> Amen. And it says, and David said unto Saul, thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him mm -hmm. and delivered him out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. The servant slew both the lion and the bear. Yes. And this uncircumcised, meaning pagan, Philistine, shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied, somebody say challenged, challenged. the armies of the living God. Yes. Yes. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion yes. and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, go and let the Lord be with thee. Yes. 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 Do me a favor and talk to your neighbor. And amen. For title's sake, let me preach from this topic. Amen. I'm built for the challenge. I'm built for the challenge. Come on, tell your neighbor, say, I'm built for this. Yeah, I'm qualified. I'm built for the challenge. Amen. I'll accept the challenge. I'm built for it. Amen. And I begin to look at this challenge and, and I begin to see how we're all facing some type of challenge. Amen. If we be real with one another, man, some of us are in the biggest challenge of our life. Amen. Some of us have a great big challenge in front of us. Amen. And, and, and the thing is, most people don't know really what you're challenged with unless you tell them. Right, 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 right. Some of us come to church and we're facing so many challenges that we're hoping that God would just show up. Yeah. Amen. For us, because we have a challenge waiting for us. And every challenge ain't the same size. That's right. That is Amen. Right. And David began to be challenged with a man named Goliath. Amen. And it was not even his challenge. Yeah. But he assumed it to be because of what was being said. Amen. He looked at it and said, this is not personal. Right. Right. Go ahead. And we have to deal with personal because a lot of times what we go through, we make it personal. Right. right. We feel like it's all about me. It's I'm, I'm the one being hurt. The devil is attacking me and it's about me it's about me it's about but it's really about the enemy attacking what's in you yeah because if you were not anointed already the devil wouldn't touch you if you didn't have god's anointing on the inside the devil would not spend his time coming after you and what he was saying was i challenge you and what he was saying really was i challenge your god <laughs> That's the reason why we gotta have faith Because faith is something that gives us a sign that it's real Even though we don't see it You know, right? you know because most of us only believe God in a tangible way yeah. If I can touch it, if I can taste it, if I can see it, I believe that it's God yeah. But what if you can't see it? Say it do you believe that God is still God when you're rich? Amen. It's six months past two. Do you believe that it's really a God when they give you a pink slip on your job and you know you wouldn't qualify for it in the first place? Come on. Say it. Come on. What? Come on, man of God. Tell it. Can you believe God? Say it. When you can't see your way out. Yeah, yeah. But you know God is real, but you just challenged. You're challenged. Amen. Come on, I'm challenged with something. Anybody been in challenge in anything in your life? Amen. Maybe this week yeah. you're going through a challenge. I don't know what your yeah. challenge is, yeah. but you recognize. Yeah. 
recognized. Yes. Amen. Yes. That I'm challenged. Yes. Yes. I begin to look at it. I want to go back a little bit. I look at the beginning of the story and I found that it was challenges that brought us to this story. Okay. Amen. The challenge started when it was Saul that disobeyed God. Yeah. Yeah. Samuel being the prophet yeah. that anointed him began to go into a depression. Yeah. And the Spirit of God came to him and said, how long will you mourn, amen, for what I've turned my back away from? Wow. Wow. Some of us have found ourselves in positions where we don't move, we're not doing anything, we can't get up, we can't move forward, and God said, I rejected that. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. So you're mourning it, amen. That's the reason why you can't get back on course because your boyfriend left. But God said, I rejected him for you. Go ahead on now. Some of us are still at a standstill because that pretty smelling woman that walked away and God said, I rejected that for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't get right because the job that you thought was comfortable for you left, but God said, I rejected it. Now he said, but I want you to get up and fill your horn with oil and go, I have chosen me a king. In other words, I have a king that I've chosen for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen now. All you got to do is be in position to do your job. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And that's where our challenge is. Our challenge is we're not always in position to do our job. Yes. Amen. Because of the circumstance, we count ourselves out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of how we hurt. Yes. We can't do our job. Right, you know you, you don't even want to answer the phone when some stuff go down. <laughs> Come on, some of y'all that got in that bed Monday, you only got up to use the bathroom by Wednesday. That's the point. Say it, say it. Because I can't do my job because of how hurt I am. Right, right, right. So God challenged Samuel. Yeah. Get up and stand in your anointing. Yeah. Right. And he says, go to the house of Jesse. I've chosen me a king. Yeah. And, and, and God began to do a lot of teaching in this because when Samuel went, amen, and I began to be encouraged. See, sometimes because we are so fortunate to have so much ministry and because we have so many anointed people around us that we don't even recognize God's anointing. That's why some people don't recognize when Pastor Tyler walks through the airport. Uh -huh. That's the reason why some people don't recognize me when I walk into Roscoe's. Uh -huh. Because they see so many people that they don't understand that a man of God just stepped into the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Bible said that as Samuel began to go and he got to Bethlehem or he got to where Jesse then was at, they said, are you coming in peace? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Woo. Woo. Go ahead. Because somebody understood that the man of God held the power to change everything that was going on around him. The man of God carries something that even the devil is afraid of. Wait a minute, how are you coming? Did you come in peace? He had to say yes. Yes, yes, yes. Touch your neighbor and say, my anointing will disturb something. Come on, you ought to say that with a little bit more conviction. My anointing will disturb something. So the Bible says, and after he said, come in peace, Amen. He invited them to the sacrifice. Amen. But when the sons came, he looked at the oldest and said, surely this is the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And God responded and said, no, this is not he. He said, for I have rejected this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't say him. Yeah. I've rejected this. I'm trying to tell you it ain't personal. All right, now. All right. All right now. You're not rejected in some areas of your life because it's personal. You're rejected because of this. He said, for don't look as man look. He said, I look at the heart. There's something that was in his heart that God said, I got to reject. Wow. Wow. Amen. And the reason why the heart is so important is because you don't want a heart on the outside. Amen. Amen. If you ain't God, yeah. you don't know what is in a person's heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could probably say you know what's in a person's heart. Right. Because what you do is really categorize in their action. Right, 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 right. But you don't really know what's in a person's heart. Right, right. Because God said David was a man after his own heart, and David made a lot of mistakes. Yes, he yeah, did. Yeah. You know he did. <laughs> oh, I know we're in church, but y'all can be honest. You know, right. Come on, some of us are making mistakes. We made some last night. Yeah. Amen. You prayed before you walked in here today and said, God, forgive me, but I still want to have a worship experience. Yeah. Come on, can we be real with one another? And because God knows your heart, he's not going to allow the enemy to steal what he's chosen for you today. Touch your neighbor and say, I will get what I came for. I will get what I came for. 
He said, I rejected wow. this too. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know how special you really are. Yeah. Yeah. God has been weeding you out of people your whole life. Wow. Some of you are so upset because you ain't got enough friends. God said that was on purpose, baby. Yeah. Most of us is at. Uh -huh. Come on with it. Come on with it. Go the ahead. answer was, yeah, I got another one, but he ain't nothing but a shepherd boy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 He ain't nothing but a shepherd boy. Samuel said at that moment, he said, go get him and we won't sit down until he comes into the place. Hey, Amen. I don't know about you, but tell me I got people standing around waiting for you to come into your own. the one that you didn't think was worthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Anybody ever been left out of anything? Yeah. Come on, come on. You, 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 you stumbled up on a party and realized everybody was invited but you. <laughs> uh, the surprise was on you. <laughs> you walked in thinking you was visiting and all of your homies is in that place. And you're like, why didn't I get the invitation? Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. You was left out on purpose. But I wish you would touch your neighbor and say what God's got for you is for you. And can't no devil in hell stop it. <laughs> can't no devil in hell stop it. If God says you a millionaire, dog, go that you a millionaire. If God says you got peace of mind, you got peace of mind. If God says they coming back home, I'll go ahead and make a welcome wagon because they coming back home. Come on, God says I'm set free, I'm set free. I can't let somebody know that's struggling today. Somebody that's challenged with something that you ain't been able to get rid of. God says you're free. And I don't care what that devil says. I don't care what that heaven may say. God says you're set free. So you shall be free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When David walked into the room. Yes, Lord. Woo. Hate 
haters everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Some of us, we can't accept our haters because they are family. Oh. Uh -uh, no, 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 these can't be my haters. It's my brother, it's my sister. But he walked in the party and it was haters everywhere. Jesus. You know that's right. They probably start like, oh, we was gonna call you, but um, <laughs> I tried to hit you, but uh, come on, anybody got the butter? Oh uh, yeah, my phone was dead. I would have hit you. <laughs> but he walked in. Samuel said, "Give me the oil." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he began to pour the oil. And the Bible said that it was from that day forward that the Spirit of God was on David. Yes, 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 yes. If you don't understand that one day and one move can make a change for the rest of your life, you're mistaken. It was after that day yes. that he was left out. Yes. That he was hated on even by his father and his brothers. Amen. God changed his life forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And God began to show me that there's always a challenge. That sets you up, amen, for your new elevation. Some of you tripping about the challenge, but the challenge is only an alley oop. Anybody play basketball in here? <laughs> Any hoopers up in this place? Amen. Somebody, you know what it means to throw up an alley oop? Alley oop means you're going to help the person get a sure two points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it up high enough that all they got to do is dunk it. And God says, I'm only challenging you with an alley oop. So when you understand that the challenge is merely setting you up for victory, you should go to give it all some points. All right, let me get to the end of this thing. Ooh, the Bible Jesus. says Jesus, Jesus. that after that happened, uh -huh. the king yeah. found himself challenged. Mm. The scripture said that there was an evil spirit of the Lord uh -huh. yeah. that would come upon him. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, let's find somebody that can play whenever you go through this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God is so cold. He's so cold. <laughs> Some of you wondering how you're going to get to the place that God gave you the glimpse. Come on, come yeah. on. Yeah. Some of you are wondering how am I going to get to that place that God has said or made a promise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's so cold yeah. that it's happening and you don't even know it. Yeah. 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 It's already, come on woman of God, it's already yeah. happening yeah. and you don't even know it. Yeah. 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 And the Bible said that it was because of his challenge. Yeah. That the idea was introduced to him and said, let's bring in somebody who has a gift that can help you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I might be a shepherd, but I got some gifts. I might be a barber, but I got some gifts. Come on, somebody might work at McDonald's, but I got some gifts. And where I work, do not say what's on the inside of me. Yeah, say it, say it. And the Bible said... That when he showed up, he presented himself. Come on, you better see some of y'all ain't presented yourself yet. I just preached a couple weeks ago at Refuge Church. Let me reintroduce myself. Yeah. Oh. See, some of the hip hoppers were like, oh! There's a point in your life where you gotta reintroduce yourself. Let me show you who I really am. I'm a step in the door. Let me show you. Yeah. 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 No, because you ain't seen me yet. You only see what I've been going through. You only see how I've been labeled, but you ain't seen me yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. So he said that the Lord allowed him to be placed in front of his destiny. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. He's looking at the throne and he's sitting on it. Come on, Jesus. Jesus. Some of us need to. Chillax. <laughs> yeah, we're falling off because it ain't happened yet. I, I know this ain't for everybody. It's okay. That was like nine or ten brothers. Only one that God started using. It's alright. If I'm talking to one, I'm fine with that. But because we're so anxious to touch what God got for us, we miss the experience of getting to the throne. Go ahead. 
Jesus. There's an experience in the, getting to the throne. And this is the experience that David began to tell Saul all about. It was called his testimony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, some of us got so much testimony. Yeah. Amen. And every time we, we start feeling like we can't make it no more, what we really got to do is reach back and think about what God has already done. Amen. And when the king began to tell him how unqualified he was, he began to say, let me reintroduce myself to you, king. He said, I was a shepherd, amen, tending to my daddy's sheep, and along came a lion and a bear. Uh, <laughs> yes! Yes! See, the reason why most of these people are running from Goliath is because they did not accept the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And they wouldn't build for it. And they wouldn't build for it. But the reason why you're able to stick it out and hang in there is because you was built for what you're challenged with. Yes, yes. Some people are wondering, how do you still have your mind? How do I still have peace after everything I've been going through? How do I still got joy? If I told you my testimony, you'll go to crying about it. But I still got it because I was built for the challenge. Yes, yes. Man. Jesus. I was built for it. Thank God. Thank God. So he began to testify. And he said, I was built for this. Because when I was opposed with a lion and a bear, yeah. I got the victory. Yeah. And he said, the same God that delivered me out of the hand of the lion yeah. is the same God that will deliver me from this Philistine. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, I wish you would encourage somebody to let them know the same God that brought you out last year is the same God that will bring you out this year. Now, I got to tell you, I'm from the Midwest. I really feel like hooping right now. Because, see, I don't preach enough to make myself a little happy. I don't know about you, but I know what I was going through last year. Amen. I remember what I was going through when I didn't think I could make it another step. Amen. The devil was... Today, I'm still here. And I wish you would tell somebody, I'm still here and I still got my job. something. The reason why you can't sit down on God and the reason why you can't come to church and keep your mouth shut is because you got to make a sound that sounds like victory. The devil wants you to sit back and be quiet. He wants you to close your lips because every time you make a sound to heaven, what you're really saying is, I got the victory. I accepted the challenge and just like you did it to someone else. Yeah. 
Somebody that might not understand how to partner with praise just yet. Amen. We're going to deposit something. Amen. In a moment today. Amen. See, I can talk like this because I'm going home tomorrow. Amen. But I don't want to leave here knowing that there was something I could do. Amen. To help you get to the next level. Amen. There's some people that you cannot leave behind. There's some people you got to grab them by the hand and say, baby, you got to come home. I know you might not understand. You might not want to hear it right now. But I got to grab your hand. You got to come home with me. Come on, why you got those hands? Squeeze those hands. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you right now. God, you said in all things you give praise. And so we praise and we bless you. All things you give thanks. So we thank you right now. I thank you for this hand that I hold right now. Come on, squeeze that hand. I thank you right now that my sister and my brother is coming out of whatever has them blocked, whatever has them stalked. He's coming. She's coming out of whatever's been affecting her, whatever's been challenging her. She's coming out right now. And even as I hold this hand, I speak life. I speak I speak victory. I speak breakthrough. I speak change falling over. I speak deliverance. I speak healing right now. In the name of Jesus, we speak right now to that heart right now. Heal in the name of Jesus. I even speak right now. Unsaved loved ones are getting saved right now. While I'm holding this hand right now, God, you're turning things around in the home. While I'm holding this hand right now, you're turning things around on that job. That over what's hitting up the surface hand. My feelings are changing in regard to you right now. God, make a shift. Shift it right now in the name of Jesus. I come against that devil that's waiting on you at home. I come against him right now in the name of Jesus. I agree with you right now. But it is done. Come on, squeeze those hands. It is done. I agree with you right now in the name of Jesus that it is done. Come on, loose those hands and give God a pray. Come on, you can do that right now. Come on, loose those hands and give God a praise. Come on, praise him for the coming out. Praise him for the victory. Praise him for the break. Sometimes, just like David, you can be in a family and they can never know who you really are. I just want to tell you that your pastor is a great man of God. And what's on 
pastor. He's the same anointing that was on Elisha. Jesus. All he had to do was make it here. Yes. Yes. Sometimes yes. we're confused about the resource. God, how are you going to do it? But it's not about how you're going to do it. It's about when you're going to do it. Yes. Yes. Because the man of God is here in Bakersfield. There are some lives that are changing and they don't even know why. Yeah. There are some resources that are coming and they don't even know why. Yeah. There's some change that's getting ready to take place. Yeah. And it's got Christian Cross Church all over it. Yeah. Come on, I prophesy and I decree right now with this man of God. By the next time I come here, this increase will be times 10. Yeah. That finances will come to him in abundance. And God will use him on a mighty way. And every council that he's stepping to, he'll walk with a great authority. There will be a shift in every room he walks into. In the name of Jesus. I thank you right now. And I believe it and I know that it's coming. Sometimes it's in the praise, sometimes it's in a comment. But when it's there in the spirit, yeah. and it comes through the word of God, because the preacher has been sent, Jesus. you gotta grab it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to reach up Jesus. as a practical Jesus. and grab it. And grab it. breaking you, but you want to break in. Grab it and come down. Woo. If you want to restore your marriage and you don't even know how to, I would grab it and I would come down. When the word goes at that level and the spirit of death is in your family and it's knocking on your door and you can grab life, I would get it and come on down. When your family's been broken to pieces and shattered and it's fragmented and you can't even, they call you, you can't even pick up the phone to give them an encouraging word. Grab it while it's in the gun. No, get it. No, you ain't done. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's in the air. It's in the atmosphere. It's in the atmosphere. It's in the atmosphere. It's here. I know it's here. I feel it. When I feel it in the air, in the atmosphere, it's almost like the smell of rain. Ah. It's here. I would get it. I would get it. And then there's two more people. They need to make the decision to come with the Lord. Because you need to grab salvation. Meet me at the altar. You need to be saved. Don't wait. You need to either rededicate your life to the Lord or you need salvation. Come on now. Come on now. Now's the opportunity. Now's the time. Get it while it's here. The man of God, not because he's come from 2,000 miles, but because God has sent him with a word that changed your life in two minutes of him speaking. Come on down. You know you need to rededicate yourself. You know you need to be saved. You know you need to be full of the Spirit. Come on down and meet us at the altar. You need Jesus Christ to be the Jesus in you. Thank you. You want to be a husband, but your father wasn't there for you. I would grab it. You want to be a new creature in Christ. If you don't have it today, I would grab it. I would come down to this altar. The altar... It's not a place that's close to the pastor. It's a place of sacrifice that gets you closer to the Lord. Amen. Remember I said he had to walk away from some things to walk into. Yes. And, and, oh. yes. and as he's walking away, he left some things at the altar. But look at the gift that made room. And like David is bringing Brother Pastor Lonnie before great men. He's come today to usher in the presence of the Lord in your life. And you need to understand and know this before you leave. When this spirit comes on this level, the Bible says that he that receives a prophet 
that in the name of a prophet, Matthew 10 41, will receive a prophet's reward. You can get whatever this man of God has come to tell you if you grab it and bring what you've got and lay it before the altar and pick what is going to be coming up, which is your new mantle, and walk back to you. If you have a burden of heaviness, grief, sorrow, conviction, hard to get out of bed, can't think clear thoughts, cussing and fussing and anger, I would come to the altar. I would get all that off of me so I could get all of God in me. I would do it right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. For those who rededicate their life, anybody say, want to be saved? Salvation. You've never been saved before. Thank you. Everybody here say, okay. Thank you. Repeat this at the altar. This day is the newest day of my new life. From this day forward, circumstances, challenges, barriers, impeding progress, backstabbers, liars. People that provoke me, a, a devil that's chasing me, will no longer have to search me out. Uh, from today forward, I'm standing, getting ready to sling my rock to take that devil down, to take Satan's kingdom down, to tear the enemy's house down. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're built for the challenge. That's why it's so tough to get through what you're trying to get through. It's not as the man of God preached what we see on the outside, but you got to know it's something on the inside. The other father, for the individuals that are here at this altar, let their new life begin. They're never too young. They're never too old. David said he's been young and old and never seen the righteous forsaken, or his seed begging for bread. These individuals that come before you, the Heavenly Father, want a new way, and this is the point, people at the altar, when other people are going to make the decision to continue to do it the old way. You've got to make a decision to do it the new way. You've got to make it the decision to, the crooked paths are going to be made straight. You have to make the decision today to walk with boldness, Holy Ghost boldness, oh, before God Almighty all the days of your life in a region and an area that might not support your idea. But that's the point that the man of God preached today. The idea is from God and I don't need your assignment. I don't need your validation. I don't need your pat going back. I have God and God alone to get the victory for my household, for my kingdom, for my church, for my family. Right now, dear Heavenly Father, you got to miss the group of people, a bevy of believers that's before you, that's believing by faith, that from this day forward, they are going to be supernatural successful and be sweet as pie doing it. If you believe that, give the person on the right left you a high five and a hug and say, this word was for me. Oh my God. Now, we're about to close out, and I want to apologize. But this brother and his wife came 2,000 miles to preach just to your pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make some apologies off the top. That's all right. <laughs> that was a holy hook. Uh, I'm so glad we didn't talk. I'm so glad he didn't know nothing. I'm so glad how God just spoke to him and used him. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad y'all was eavesdropping in on my message. All right now. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And because of it, the gift is made room, but his room is about to increase in a supernatural way. Yes. Jesus. Thank you. And, the, and, 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 and the word that he has, that he's pregnating Chicago with, other individuals need to get that seed as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here it is. The doors in Atlanta are going to open. Yeah, yeah. The doors in Florida are about to open. The doors in Memphis are about to open. The doors in Texas are about to open. And as this man of God begins to preach the unadulterated, unfathomable word of God to individuals that need what you just got, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to pray for protection over him. We're yeah, going to pray yeah. for guidance over him. We're going to pray that the blood of Jesus is yeah. all over his ministry yeah. because this 
word is just too big for Harvey. This word has to go around the world. Everybody chimed into his gift. Let me tell you what's going to happen for this house. As you leave today, you're going to get victory in places that you've never gotten them before. Oh. Remember that it's not you. Yeah. It's yeah. the anointing of God that's upon you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not ever forego this anointing from this day forward. Yeah. Yeah. And when you get into your blessed place, remember when you were almost broken. Remember when you almost were bewildered. Remember when you almost bounced on God's word. But the word of the Lord gave you sustenance and strength. And it gave you so much sustenance and strength. I'm going to tell you how real this is. Here it is. You may not have tied today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But you need to give to this word. Reaching your purses. Reaching your pockets. Reaching your ATMs. Reaching your PayPal. Let's go. Let's get this word for this man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is